Negotiations still underway between the Culinary Union and 34 casino resorts on the Strip and in downtown. And if a deal isn't reached, contracts will expire for tens of thousands of workers. We have Nia Wong, who spoke with union members and what this means to them, joining us now with an update. Thank you, Nia. I did, Kirsten. The Culinary Union and the companies that own these properties are cutting it real close. Even at this hour, they're still trying to reach an agreement. But while that's happening, the Culinary Union is preparing for the picket lines. When the clock strikes midnight, contracts are set to expire for nearly 50,000 servers, kitchen workers, and employees on the Strip and in downtown Las Vegas. It would be a little crazy, but we have to do what we have to do to support our families. Jennifer Marshall is one of them. As a food server for the Paris Hotel, she says she helped with the opening of the property 18 years ago. We have to stand up for what we need in this contract. Marshall, along with their fellow members of Culinary Union Local 226, are fighting for their new contracts to have better wages, workplace training, job security, among several other issues. We work this strip for years, and we make sure that we have this strip shining the way it is. Eva Martinez says it would be shameful and even disappointing if the union and casino resorts can't come up with a deal before the contract deadline. And I think that it's not going to be fun for the guest room attendants to walk out of these casinos. Caesars and MGM Resorts International own more than half the properties where contracts end on June 1st. Both have made counter offers to the Culinary Union. We reached out to the companies and received this statement from MGM Resorts International. They say, we are confident that we can resolve the outstanding contract issues and come to an agreement that works for all sides. We want? When do we want it? Last week, union members voted to authorize a strike if the time calls for it. Come June 1st, that becomes a real possibility if they don't receive an offer they can accept. And just to clarify, even if these contracts are allowed to expire, talks can still happen between the union and the companies. Nia Wong, 8 News Now. Thank you.